Ever wondered where the shortest war in history went down? Or how about buildings made with fish bones? Africa is not just the second largest chunk of land on our planet. It's a gold mine of breathtaking beauty, landscapes that defy belief, and a wildlife spectacle that will leave you awestruck. Prepare to be swept away on an African odyssey like never before. Unleashing a whirlwind of facts that will send your curiosity soaring. We are diving deep into the untold wonders of this mesmerizing continent. Get ready to have your mind blown as we unravel the mysteries, unveil the extraordinary, and explore the downright intriguing facts about Africa. Welcome to the wild, wonderful, and utterly captivating world of Africa's intriguing facts. Today, we are unwrapping 11 mind-bending facts about Africa that will pique your curiosity and reshape your view of this extraordinary continent. Dive deeper into the wonders of this incredible continent by subscribing to the African Heritage Channel. Let's build a community of curious minds together subscribe like and share because the adventure doesn't end here welcome to the african heritage family where the wonders never cease Here's a mind-blowing fact for you. Would you have ever imagined Africa's Sahara Desert bigger than the USA? The heavyweight champion of deserts is so colossal that it makes the USA look like a speck on the map. Wrap your head around this. The Sahara stretches over a whooping 9.4 million square kilometers, outsizing the entire United States. But hold on, there is more. This mega desert is on the move. It is growing in size, expanding its southern reach at a rate of half a mile per month, which adds up to a cool six miles every year. The Sahara isn't just big, it's getting even bigger. Alright, second up in our jaw-dropping African facts, African elephants. Forget those cute rhinos and hippos, let's talk giants. Did you know African boasts the biggest land animal on the planet? I'm talking about a mighty African elephant, a walking behemoth that can tip the scales at over six tons and stretch as long as a school bus. These gentle giants are like the Dwayne the Rock Johnsons of the animal kingdom, making their Asian cousins look like miniature poodles. The rock massive ears like satellite dishes, sports wrinkling skin like a well-worn leather jacket, and their trunks have more rings than a grandma's favorite teacup. So next time you're on a safari, keep your eyes peeled for these gentle giants. Spotting one is an experience you won't forget. Our third mind-blowing fact about Africa, it's basically the hottest continent on the planet. Planet. About 60% of this massive land is pure, scorching heat with desert ruling the scene. The Sahara in particular takes the crown as the world's granddaddy of deserts, where temperatures can hit a sizzling 100 degree Fahrenheit, that is 40 degrees Celsius, without breaking a sweat. Now, we are not just talking about the heat. African plays the temperature extremes game like a boss. The hottest recorded temperature on Earth happened right in El Azizia, Libya, hitting a mind-bending 136.4 degree fire right which is 58 degrees celsius but hold up it's not all about the heat we've got a cold side too head over to ifren morocco and you might shiver a bit with temperatures dropping as low as minus 11 degree fire right which is also minus 23.9 degrees celsius africa you're a wild ride and we're just getting started here's a mind-blowing nugget number four for you nigeria has one of the highest twin births in the world. Nigeria, one of Africa's giants, proudly holds the title the land of twins. Why? Because it boasts the highest rate of twin births globally. Seriously, West Africa is like the ultimate twin hotspot and Nigeria is stealing the show with rates four times higher than anywhere else on the map. Now, picture this. In a quaint little town called Igora in Oyo State, the southwestern part of Nigeria, the twin phenomenon hits its peak. Raise yourself. They are cranking out an average of 50 sets of twin in every 1,000 births. Nigeria, you've got the twin crown and it's one fascinating fact we can't ignore. Let's dive into a heavy fact, the Second Congo War recorded 5 million deaths and kicked off in August 1998, just a year after the First Congo War. Brace yourself because this one is the second deadliest conflict in the world, trailing only behind World War II. It all started as a political and military face-off between Rwanda and Zaire, now known as the Democratic Republic of the Congo. But here's the gut-wrenching part, it didn't stop there. Several other countries got tangled up in this mess. And 
over 5 million lives were lost in the chaos. They finally signed a peace agreement in 2002 to put a lead on the oral, but traces of violence still linger today, making the DRC a dicey travel spot. Quick notes, don't mix it up with the Republic of Congo, a safe safari haven and a good one at that. Alright, let's talk about a serious issue and the sixth fascinating fact, malaria. Another intriguing fact is a whooping 90% of all malaria cases worldwide happen right in Africa. It's a deadly disease, especially hitting hard in Africa. Wrap your head around this. A staggering 3,000 kids lost their lives to malaria every single day on this continent. And get this, it's a heartbreaking situation and we are all in this together. If you can lend a hand, consider chipping in for charities like Malaria No More, Christian Aid, UNICEF, or the Again Malaria Foundation. Malaria doesn't play fair, especially when poverty is in the mix. So, any support from the Western world can make a world of difference. Let's fight this battle together. Not only did Africa witness the second deadliest war, but it also hosted the shortest war ever recorded in history. Picture this. The whole shebang lasted a mere 38 to 45 minutes, earning its spot as the blink and you'll miss it war of the ages. This lightning speed conflict went down in August 1896 between Zanzibar and the heavyweight Great Britain. Why? Well, the British weren't vibing with Sultan Khalid bin Bagash taking over after the pro-British Sultan Ahmad bin Tuwaini killed the British forces storming the palace grounds and bam, war erupted. But get this, the entire showdown wrapped up in just 38 minutes. Sultan Khalid bin Bagash threw in the towel, raised the white flag and made a run for it to German East Africa. Africa. Meanwhile, the British rolled up their sleeves, appointed a new sultan and called it a day. Short and not so sweet but definitely one for the history books. The next shocking fact is that Tunisia built their houses with fish bones in Tunisia, North Africa. They are taking home construction to a whole new level by using fish bones. Why you ask? Because for many people there, fish are like supernatural bodyguards against evil spirits. It's a cool process they call brick and riba. Here's the scoop. The mix fish bones with clay and sand, creating this super strong concussion that becomes the building blocks for walls. Some families keep it low-key with fish pictures for protection, but others go all out. Their homes, built with fish bones woven into the walls and floors. It's not just architecture, it's a whole vibe, shielding inhabitants from those pesky evil spirits. Now, that's some fishy business. Let's talk about Mount Kilimanjaro, a hot spot for thrill seekers from around the globe right here in Africa. But here's the kicker, it's not just any mountain, it's the highest point on the entire continent. Standing tall at a jaw-dropping 19,340 feet above sea level, Kilimanjaro is no walk in the park. It's a challenge that dares professional climbers to conquer its mighty summit. Now, praise yourselves, this climb isn't a Sunday stroll. It's one of the riskiest expeditions out there, with over 1,000 people needing rescuing each year. And here's the real talk. An average of 10 brave souls face the ultimate challenge and don't make it back. Mount Kilimanjaro isn't for the faint-hearted, it's the real deal. Alright, here's a history nugget for you. Even though adult literacy might be a challenge in some parts of Africa, the continent boasts one of the oldest universities in the world. Drum roll, please! Welcome to Timbuktu in Mali. Back in the 12th century, Timbuktu was the intellectual epicenter, earning its title as the Paris of medieval times. The University of Timbuktu, standing tall since 982 CE, holds the prestigious badge of being one of the oldest continuously operating institutions of higher education in sub-Saharan Africa. Imagine this, the mosque and university were crafted in the 1100s by Berbers who settled in the Timbuktu region of what we now know as Mali. Talk about ancient wisdom thriving in the heart of Africa. When it comes to windmills, South Africa is secretly stealing the show. Now, we all know the Netherlands is the go-to for windmills, but surprise, surprise, South Africa boasts a whooping 280,000 of these giants. Yes, you heard it right. They are not just scattered randomly. you find them doing their thing on farms all across the country. And get this, their number blows the Netherlands stats out of the 
the water. While the Dutch are rocking a solid 10,000 windmills, South Africa is basically windmill central. Who knew? Africa is the continent that keeps us on the edge of our seats with its mind-blowing facts and untold wonders. From the jaw-dropping height of Mount Kilimanjaro to the ancient wisdom of Timbuktu's university and not forgetting the epic showdown of the world's shortest war, Africa has it all. Let these facts be your passport to a world where fish bones make buildings and deserts are bigger than entire countries. So, until our next adventure, keep exploring, keep discovering and embrace the extraordinary tales that Africa weaves. And most importantly, if you find this exploration captivating, do well to give us a thumbs up, subscribe and share with fellow African enthusiasts. This is your journey and Africa, the land of marvels, awaits your curious spirit. Until next time, stay curious, stay adventurous and keep chasing those amazing African vibes on the African Heritage Channel.